Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another Assassin's Creed video guide and once again, very happy news for those that struggle with certain aspects of the game, whether it be those big old titty ass bitch boss battles or certain achievements and trophies, i.e. Overdesigned Bloody 2. Now, from my original God Mode video, it appeared to have been patched as we had to uh, play the dice game Orlog. And as soon as the coin flipped, we would immediately fast travel to any other point and it would work. Now, after the latest patch 1.1.0, that was no longer the case as fast travel was unavailable. But lo and behold, the gaming community is just the goddamn best at finding stuff and is the case in this point and again a huge shout out goes to Assassin J on YouTube for finding this one out. But there is still a god mode and I will show you right now today how it works. Again this might get patched in the future so if you want to get stuff done I would do it now. So once again it is still to do with the dice game or log but this time it appears to be only a certain location. So for that we need actually to head to London. So obviously you need to make sure that you're either far enough into the story or head on over there, unlock some fast travel points and get the game on the go. And so as you can see right here then, immediately I get my ass uh, not handed to me, but they can see me, they want to kill me. Now once you're ready, go ahead, play it, toss the coin to your witcher. Uh, I mean, uh, toss the coin to the Orlog player and then just play. So, remember the last time how we done this, it used to be flip the coin and then immediately go into the pause menu. So this is how we did it last time, but now, as you can see, if you try that, fast travel is completely unavailable. So you cannot, wherever you try to do, wherever you try to go, the fast travel is unavailable. Now it doesn't matter, by the way, if your opponent rolls first. So again, if he does roll first, that's fine. But you should roll your dice then. And as soon as you do that, press and hold the B button, uh, button sorry, or circle on the PlayStation and forfeit. Then once forfeited, wait until Eivor stands up and you have control. Then you can fast travel to literally any point. Go and find an enemy to make sure it works, but it should now work fine and you should have the ability to slice off any little pickles off without being touched, harmed or even seen. So once again I say this may get patched in the future, so if you want to do stuff, do it now. So yeah, remember if you are struggling with certain parts, the daughters of Lyrion, annoying sons of Beatrice, or any boss, this will help. Now the main one though, just like my original video, is for the help to get the achievement over Design 2 and other ones. And I'll show you the best place to get this. Now it is in the lower left hand corner of the map in Hantonshire. Now make sure you're at least 20 to 30 levels below these big boy shielded enemies. Remember they've got to have a shield with them. As long as they have the red skull next to the name, you are golden. Now this glitch also keeps the um, heads up display, the HUD at the top of the screen. So when you set yourself on fire for this, you can see just how much health you've got left, etc. So it's generally best, since the enemies don't see you, uh, to whistle a shielded enemy until he gets close to you, standing next to a bale. Then you can set that on fire. Uh, you've got to make sure that you're fully on fire, by the way, as in red outline that blares on the screen. Then just swipe him with your sword. It should only take one or two hits, and that should be good. Now, you can also do this on top of a thatched roof, so you can find any enemy with a shield, set the roof on fire, and slap his titties off with your bow. Now, it may take more than a few enemies for it to count, because you need to be literally fully, fully on fire, so just be aware. But there we go then, that is another god mode glitch found. Awesome! Now I know again it's not the way it's meant to be played, but it does help for those tricky parts. But hopefully you put this new power to good use and you can use it to help yourself out. So that's that then guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget of course to like, comment and subscribe and I shall catch you in the next video. Big love!